If she is not she safe is to drive... that she can drive, but I will not trust her. Can you tell just suspended my wife lessons, if it's possible? No, no, because she's in the passenger seat. She hasn't got the steering wheel. Hello. Is there any reason we were going so fast back there? Not if it makes the road. OK, do you, do you realise what the speed limit is in New yeah. Zealand? 100. 100. And do you realise what speed you had there? I don't know. At just over the 140. Yeah, yeah, very, very fast. Was any reason at all we're going so fast? No, there's no reason. We are just going to Milford Town. Have you got a driver's licence on you? Yeah. Okay. Because you've gone over 140 kilometres an hour, okay. okay, your licence is going to be suspended. Yeah. Okay, your licence will be suspended automatically. So but what? she's not able to drive the car. If she can't drive the car, you will look at, have to look at buses. It all depends whether she is happy and able to drive the car. If she has a driver's licence, then legally she's, she's allowed to. She's having a licence, but she is not able to drive in this road. The driver's partner has her own licence, but for some reason her husband has no faith in her ability to deal with State Highway 94. And although he's ruled out letting his partner drive, the man would nonetheless like to see his wife take the hit for his speeding offence. Can you tell just suspended my wife's licence? Is it possible? No, no, because she's in the passenger seat. She hasn't got the steering wheel. Despite his own reckless speeding, the man is not prepared to risk his wife driving. She will be driving, but it's not safe for us. She is not too much familiar with driving. She does hold a licence, and that um, is accepted in New Zealand, so she is allowed to drive in New Zealand. But if she is not confident to drive or safe to drive in New Zealand, uh, which is what he's telling me, then they won't be driving in New Zealand. Unfortunately for this driver, his lesson on the New Zealand road code is about to cost him $500. OK, you've lost your licence for 28 days. OK, so you cannot drive in New Zealand for 28 days. You. If you are caught driving, we, um, you go to the court. OK, you get sent to court. We will seize your passport and you're not allowed to leave the country till you go to court, OK? okay. Dwight is still in the dark as to why the man is so reticent about his wife driving. But then he decides to level with Dwight. If she is not safe she to drive, that she can drive, but I will not trust her. However, she drives. This man has decided he doesn't want to find out today. Look, I've just had an idea. Yeah. If um, we're not sure if she is safe to drive, okay. this road through to Mosbin, if you wished, she could try driving behind me. And if we get there, if she's happy, and you, I can then watch her driving as well. If she's OK, you may wish her to carry on. After a quick crash course in the layout of the Toyota Corolla cockpit, the man's wife finally gets to sample New Zealand roads. He really doesn't like his woman driving. <laughs> the woman's driving in Dwight's shadow is perfectly safe and sensible. And not surprisingly, she's starting to show up her husband. He felt he was the better driver, but uh, from what I'm viewing... I think I like her at 60 kilometres an hour than him at 142.